as a Republican-led House committee releases testimony from two IRS whistleblowers, alleging the evidence supported felony tax evasion charges, more serious than the deal cut by the president's son. There seems to be a, a real contradiction between what uh, the whistleblower is reporting and what the U.S. attorney has uh, agreed to. One of the IRS whistleblowers, Gary Shapley, told congressional investigators under oath, I am alleging with evidence that the Justice Department provided preferential treatment, slow walked the investigation, did nothing to avoid obvious conflicts of interest. The allegations went further that the Trump-appointed U.S. Attorney David Weiss was blocked from bringing charges in Washington, D.C., California, and sought special counsel status, a claim denied by the Attorney General. The only person with authority to make somebody a special counsel or refuse to make somebody a special counsel is the Attorney General. Mr. Weiss never made that request to me. Garland strongly disputed allegations of interference and left the door open for Weiss to answer Congress's questions. I would support uh, Mr. Weiss um, uh, explaining or testifying on these matters. Shapley also claimed there was a recovered 2017 WhatsApp message from Hunter Biden apparently sent to a Chinese businessman over an outstanding payment stating, quote, I am sitting here with my father. We would like to understand why the commitment made has not been fulfilled. Hunter Biden allegedly texted, according to the transcript. If true, this would seem to contradict comments from President Biden that he was not involved in his son's business deals.